Because of its many applications, the new and improved Spectrum Analyzer is in the Quick menu, allowing you to access it in a matter of seconds. Whether or not you're familiar with the Clearview Ground Station, it is obvious to see just how lightning fast the new Band Analyzer is. The application now contains two modes, Band Mode and Spectrum Mode. Between these two modes and the new unprecedented speed of the Spectrum Analyzer, you will be able to find a frequency or troubleshoot a crowded RF situation quicker than ever before. Upon opening the Spectrum Analyzer, the pointer will fall onto the Exit button located in the top right. You can use this option to return to live video at any time during operation. From here, a short press on the menu button will bring you to the item labeled Bands. This option allows you to change between all the bands and modes in this application. Next, you will be taken down to the Spectrum Graph. By continuing to make short presses, you will scroll through all of the graph's frequencies in consecutive order. Finally, the last option will land you on Help. Long pressing this option will bring up a screen which gives you a brief overview of what the application does and how to use it. In this screen, you also have the choice of making the band analyzer your home or startup screen. Although the application may look daunting at first, it's really quite simple once you know how to read it. In the top of the screen, you'll see an option called Scans. This gives you a reference point to show what frequency range the graph is showing. Typically, it will range from about 5600 MHz to 5900 MHz, but you may see this change as you move into the higher low bands. Off to the right, there is another reference number called Peak. This gives the user a quick reference if they wish to know where the strongest signal is but do not wish to scan through the entire spectrum manually. Finally, we have the spectrum graph itself. As soon as the pointer is placed on the spectrum, the lowest bar will begin blinking, indicating that it is selected. In the very bottom, you will also see additional information show up. It will show what frequency the pointer is at and how strong the noise level of the frequency is, given in dBm. Band mode is most useful in a race environment. It not only shows the band you are currently in, but also where the band lies relative to the rest of the 5.8 GHz spectrum. However, the pointer will only land on the numbered channels in the band, and therefore you should only use band mode if you are trying to quickly locate a transmission in a known band. After long pressing a selected channel, you will be taken to live video, now on the selected channel. In Spectrum mode, you have access to almost the entire 5.8 GHz band. This mode should be used when locating an unknown frequency, whether it be from an old quad on the shelf, or a rogue signal from a video transmitter that is out of spec. This mode is also very useful if you wish to find clean or unused frequencies to fly on. Unlike band mode, you are now able to move across the screen and select any frequency on the spectrum, spaced 10 MHz apart. Once you have chosen your frequency, you can long press to select it. And here's the magic part. Instead of returning to live video on that frequency, a new screen will show up, giving you access to the three closest matches of your chosen frequency. At this point, you can either logically select the frequency you think you're on, or, if you're unsatisfied with the result of the scan, you can move on to select favorites. Choosing favorites will show the nearest frequencies only in your favorite bands. Finally, if you think your frequency is still not listed, you can have the application rescan, which will go back to the Spectrum Analyzer to do another scan. Once you have chosen a frequency in that band that seems logically correct, you will long press the menu button and return to live video, now on the frequency that you have selected. And there we have it. If we've missed anything in this video, please make sure to write us a comment down below in the comment section. Otherwise, subscribe to our channel for more content, and make sure to turn on notifications. Other than that, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.